Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to discuss the difference between AF and AT of a circuit breaker. So when we look at any circuit breaker specs, we will have these two terms, AF and AT. So starting with AF, AF simply representing ampere frame. So AF of a circuit breaker typically refers to the ampere frame or frame size. This indicates that the physical uh, capacity of the circuit breaker or indicates the physical capacity of the circuit breaker to carry current. So simply we can think of AF as the maximum current that can be interrupted by the circuit breaker. So for example, if the AF is 300 amperes, this means that the circuit breaker is designed to uh, cut off or trip a maximum current of 300 amperes. Now this value is usually expressed in amperes and of course higher AF or higher ampere frame means that it can interrupt higher and larger currents or it means that it can also handle higher current loads without tripping. Now there is another important part regarding AF so if we have two circuit breakers or several circuit breakers with the same AF which is ampere frame with the same ampere frame, it means that we can replace them in the place of each other. So if I have a circuit breaker installed in a certain location with a certain ampere frame, let's say 250, and I have another one, another circuit breaker, 250 airframe, uh, ampere frame, which means that we can take the circuit breaker and replace it with the other one. We can put this one instead of the other one in the same uh, location. Usually, this means that they have the same uh, physical uh, dimensions. Okay. On the other hand, AT, so we have this representing the maximum uh, current capacity. This one, ampere, uh, this one is called ampere trip ampere trip what does this even mean this representing the trip units settings so for example if ampere trip is 100 amperes it means that our circuit breakers is adjusted at 100 amperes and at 100 amperes it will trip the circuit so af maximum current capacity or maximum current capacity at which it can uh, be operated uh, ampere a uh, trip representing the value at which it will trip if the current exceeds it okay so it's representing the trip unit settings within the circuit breaker so af ampere frame maximum rated current for the circuit breaker m80 or ampere trip representing the value at which we select our circuit breaker to uh, cut off and of course ampere trip is less than the uh, ampere frame for example, if we have a circuit breaker of 180, 100 ampere trip, 125 ampere frame, it means that the circuit breaker will trip at 100 amperes. So we are uh, selecting it or tripping it at 100 amperes and the 125 representing the maximum current that the circuit breaker is designed to trip at. So it means that the maximum rating for the circuit breaker is 125 amperes and the currently set to trip. So it is used to trip at 100 amperes. Why? Because ampere trip is at 100. Another example, you can see here 180 to 150, 180 uh, 100 to 125, 80 to 150, 225, uh, 250. And you can see these breakers have the same AF, as you can see, same AF, which means that all of these breakers can replace each other. The difference between them is that the first one is designed or selected or adjusted to trip at 100 amperes. This one is used to trip at 125 when we adjust the breaker itself. 
and then one this one means that our breaker is adjusted at 225 and etc but since we have the same ampere frame it means that we if we have a circuit breaker let's say this one and this one we would like to replace it if it has 250 ampere frame it means that we will take another circuit breaker with the same uh, ampere frame so that we can put in the same uh, in its place okay so it means that if these breakers have the same frame size it means that you can replace the breakers by each other thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our academy Khadija Academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass electrical engineering basics uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations for example we have electrical design we have courses on electric circuits power electronics ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You will find also in this uh, academy, you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses. You can, for example, um, uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month, or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new course that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, light current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics okay and you will find that inside when you join this membership you'll find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership so thank you and see you in our um, membership on Khadija Academy